back to the Motion Race Works YouTube channel today. We're doing some testing in Union Grove, Wisconsin on the Copo Camaro. So we did a bunch of updates to this thing and uh, basically next weekend is the first big event in Chicago at uh, Joliet, Route 66. So we wanted to come out here and do a shakedown. One of the only tracks in the Midwest that's really open during the week. So here we are. Hopefully you get some good numbers out of it. Uh, we'll talk to Dennis about index and stuff like that, where we are versus where we need to be. But uh, we're feeling pretty good. I think we have a pretty solid combo. One of the cool things about the Copo is it's a small tire radial car uh, with an LS motor in it. So it's not a far deviation from what we're used to working on. And uh, I, may, I don't want to oversimplify it, but I feel like at least we have a good start. So pretty excited about today. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun time. All right, Dennis, we're going to go a little bit deeper into index stuff and like what this class is. So tell us about like what the index is in this class. How fast are, is it right now? In uh, stock eliminator FSAA, it's 940. Okay. Um, so we're going to try to see how far under the index we were able to do with our changes thus far. So, I mean, we'll see, I, I, you know, a high, high qualifying car can be almost a second under the index you know there's cars that can be a tenth under and still be competitive basically in the format of racing you can't dial above your index so you know 940 is the maximum dial so but you can dial below you can absolutely dial below and that's and that's the structure of the qualifying sheet so once everybody's laddered the you know the highest qualified car normally there there could be some kind of prize for that but then they ladder them out and reason so people do show their cards uh just you want to hold a little something just in case you get like a say a, another a card say third round you line up on the ladder then you know weights coming out you know oils getting changed and uh you know you're you're put the beans to it basically so basically today what we're trying to do is find out how fast we can go with yep. this car we may or may not publish it uh <laughs> We, but, uh, we also change, like we change shocks and brakes, so we're gonna try to look at some staging procedures and just see what we can do with like launch RP. You gotta get used to the car, cause yeah, you gotta exactly. learn how to cut a light exactly. with this particular chassis. Yep. You, you're no stranger to a door car, but every car is a little different. Yep. And when you're talking about trying to cut double O lights, you gotta be familiar with it. So yep. kind of what we're here for. Yep, just shake it down, make sure it goes straight. We got the national coming up and I think I think it'd be next weekend. Next actually. weekend in yeah, Chicago, so, right? So as long as we can make some good runs today that are under the index, we should be ready to go. Cool. Well, we'll see what happens. Yep. Good shake down pass. Made sure the you know everything's working right. Yep. Nothing fell off. <laughs> no <laughs> we had a lot of part, we had a lot of part this winter. So yeah, the uh, I was a little concerned about you know just how things were gonna feel. I wanted to make sure I got through the gears and wanted to make sure it brakes and everything were good. It hard drives phenomenal, but yep. it's gonna take a ton more power on the starting line. So we just need to look at the logs and yeah, basically see where we can give it. Yeah, it really just kind of drove away. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was. I just didn't really know what to expect, especially since we changed struts and. Yeah, we have like socks. converter, yeah. gearing, everything. Everything we could pretty much change besides taking the engine out. We yeah. we changed. They always say like don't change too much at once. <laughs> well, we changed everything. Yeah. So oh, yeah. well, good yeah. first pass. Yeah. yeah, we got good data and we'll, we'll learn. We'll be fine. Good starting. I know a lot of you guys have been asking where the GTO went after sick week. Uh, if you don't remember, Andy blew it up. Uh, luckily, our uh, staff photographer and social media guy, Mike Pryker, had a fresh LSX six bolt build and uh, was nice enough to sell it to Andy. Uh, about three, three and a half times the normal cost. You know, just had to make money on the boss. Just kidding. Nice guy, though. No, he was, he was, he was good, reasonable. So, sick week's coming up, and uh, you know what? Andy, Andy felt like he really uh, did himself dirty at sick week, so 
He's got a pretty healthy new bullet in this thing, and I think he's ready to. Get some new PDs for the car. That's kind of where I really want to be at. You've really been teetering on the four second zone. Yeah. I've been and saying... pumpkin spice is really knocking on your door, so. Yeah, I got I got a little bit of a kick there, so I got I got to push a little bit harder. You can't have your brother like, you know, coming out with a single turbo right. four bolt motor coming out. So yeah. Uh... Hopefully we see a four second pass out of it, but at the very least, it's just good to see it back out. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna take an easy, easy first pass, make sure everything's right. Turn it up a little bit. It is good to see the GTO back out. It was a sad state of affairs when that motor kicked, uh, but you know, there's some rowdy radial events coming up and Andy didn't want to sit around and wait for uh, things to happen. So well, here we are. You know, tonight's not like some crazy radial prep. If this thing can run fours on this track tonight, you have a real, I mean, Devin's not racing Rowdy Radial at six summer, so you have a real, you're going to come out and have a strong car for the field anyway. Yeah, so. I mean, I feel like this track would be pretty representative. I mean, this is one of the tracks, right? So yeah. It'd be pretty representative of the sick week. Yeah. Make sure you save those tunes accordingly. Uh, absolutely. You'll know where the bumps and, and cracks and stuff are in the track. So. All right, Andy, do you load a 490 tune or are you going to let Pumpkin Spice beat up on you? Uh, she's not quite, well, if it goes 490, then you better look out, but no. <laughs> Not quite that aggressive, but it's definitely a little bit more. Hey, I'm cheering for both teams. It's all right. Andy, it looked like you get past. What do you think? I'm pretty happy with it. What'd it go? It went 534, but I took about 10 pounds of boost out of what I normally run. Yeah. Really good down track. The Grove is hooking, that's what everybody's yeah, saying. So it looked good. I mean, first yeah, pass with a new motor really can't be too bad. We'll take a uh, look at the data, make sure nothing weird was happening. And try to give it the a GTO point. is back. So we, uh, you know, we got our initial shakedown run done. And uh, because this thing uh, has no trans brake, we, they were using timing to kind of get it off the line, but looks like it'll take about everything we throw at it. So put some timing back in it, we'll see what happens. Cool coming to different tracks and seeing our customers out here. Dennis, all right, first full pass. First full pass. Tell me about uh, what it do. Oh man, we turned uh, first full pass. We turned up the timing a little bit. Um, let's see, what else did we do? We made sure we were actually cooled down, and ready to go. Um, <laughs> I hit first gear and second gear a little bit better. Uh, still getting used to manually shifting the three-speed car. It's been a while since I've done that. Um, Especially but, a small tire. Yeah, yeah, small tire car. You just still like second pass. You don't know exactly what it's going to do. We're under power, yeah. like past a thousand foot. So really, I mean, it, the car drives spectacular. The brakes work very, very well. <laughs> um, tell, tell me what you're saying about the brakes. You got to be careful. I said you got to be careful. Like with a, with six calipers on the car, you got to be careful. But what I really <laughs> love about it is, I mean, you come up and it's just like you're going to the grocery store. Maybe you just put your foot on the brake, put it in the wood. And it, it, I mean, that's just seamless. So, and this thing I without a trans that. brake, the fact that, that it's just so easy to keep it 
Yeah, I feel like we could give it a ton more RPM yeah. and it's gonna just laugh at it on the starting line, which is a lot to drive in the stock eliminator cars, you know, it's like a comfortable, smooth pedal. So yeah. I, I, I'm really excited to look at the data log and see what kind of what our next steps are. But. I mean, 886 in our full pat first full pass and we were hoping for like 870s like after exactly. a few weekends, that's I pretty mean, we're, solid. We're shocks out of the box, you know, right where Randy said to set them. I mean, we can loosen up the front end, bring the RPM up a little bit, probably bring the timing up a little bit, yep. and probably be in the, you know, maybe mid mid to low 120s for 60. So. Yeah, so it went 131 that time, which yep. not bad for a 3,500 pound car yep. not leaving on a trans brake. Yeah, and we're in the 3,000, 3,200 launch range. So, yep. So. And then uh, it went what to the eighth mile? We went 571 at 124 so it's a pretty good mile an hour yeah yeah it's making some steam making 34 on the back half too which it's it's it seems happy so yeah cool well yeah. now we just have fun oh yeah yeah now we got to make <laughs> it raceable make it winnable and then take her to chicago and have some fun and go have fun all right so the track's actually pretty decent tonight at great lakes uh for a thursday night i'm pretty impressed uh one thing i'm watching there's not a whole lot you can do it's not like a turbo car i mean we're throwing all the boost to it but uh, we're gonna start dialing in things like tire pressure, sneak up on it. If you take go back on that video and rewind it, start to wrinkle that radial, which is something you don't want. Uh, this car being really heavy, it runs just a little bit more air pressure than what you're used to. So, gonna start doing that, adding some timing. Um, really, honestly, the suspension is pretty much dialed in, dead nuts on, so I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, I think we can definitely get it in the mid 20s, mid 120, 60 foot, like Dennis said. Um, from there, you, we're going to take a lot of time off the big end if we can get it down low. This thing is just everything in the front half of the run, so we just got to get it off the line and chip away at that. This is the uh, first big rim car with uh, TPM brakes on it. See him through there. basically sticking the brake pedal because of the two-step switch that we got. If you look down here, they have a two-step that activates off the brake pedal since you can't have a trans brake. And uh, you can probably see it. As you push the brake pedal down further, that switch ends up getting past it. And what happened is that switch got on the other side of the brake pedal and then kept the brake pedal depressed, which is kind of sketchy. Uh, it's mostly because as it gets here, it starts actually hitting the arm here and it gets around it. So we're gonna have to do a, seems like we can come up with a better design for that because it's kind of scary. Anytime you push the brake pedal hard, if it has a chance to lock up the brakes, that's never a good idea, like in a panic situation. So at least we found that now and not uh, when we're trying to race it because obviously it's happened, it happened one other time and we thought it was a fluke and now it's happening again. So uh, just a, uh, just a weird deal really. That's why we test. Buddy. That's why we test. Oh yeah. But we got our 886, yeah, and uh, we know what we gotta do to go fast. Oh so, yeah. Yep, I mean, we got a lot left to, to give on the starting line, and uh, given uh, what we changed, like we could uh. We could have had just like a real dumpster fire as much stuff as we changed and yeah. we came out and have a really pretty decent deep race sure. car. So. Sure. Transmission works well, suspension works well, you know, the engine works well, you guys tuned it up good. So I think we're ready to race Chicago kind of fast. This one's going. And he made a solid rip. What'd you go that fast? 530. 530. Save that for a sick week. Well, now that he pulled a lot of power out just to make it make sure you went down a track, but 
we figured some stuff out in the front shocks and in my opinion i think you need to get some new shocks for six summer yeah ideally uh I basically know. it was set it's it we can't control it coming up in the front we don't want to stop it but we want to slow it down more yeah. and we did slow it down a little bit it seemed to like it so yeah. that definitely reacts to that i think that, we can put some power back in and i took out i just want to make some I feel like we've struggled with this in the IRS for a lot of years, oh, or for yeah, a couple oh, years oh, now. Oh, I think we're onto something yeah. with controlling that front strut a little bit better, and we never really looked at that, so if we do that. We should be able to get down to the 20s and teens consistently. Oh, yeah. Alright, well, main thing is the GTO is back. Right. I'm excited about that. Alright guys, I won't be in Chicago, but uh, watch out for results and I'm sure if you're stock super stock guy you'll either be there or be watching so hopefully you know we can go out and have a, at least a decent showing obviously we still have a lot to learn probably always will and uh, you know there's a driving portion of the car that Dennis has to get used to it and when you're racing a car without a trans brake cutting a light really depends on a lot of small things so right What's up? racing a car without a trans brake cutting a light is not yeah, the easiest task. It's, a, it's, it's really hard to get consistent, especially because you're not going against like a positive stop yep. on the brakes. So it's a little bit about feel, it's a little bit about getting the pedal you like, and obviously the switch thing is just a, a must fix yeah. before you go out. Of we'll get time. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it from Great Lakes Dragway. It's going to be a long night, uh, early morning tomorrow, so we're going to get out of here. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like stock, super stock, if you like small tire. Drag and drive stuff, and, or OBS trucks. We're in the middle of building a 632 big block Chevrolet OBS truck. Hit that subscribe button. See you guys later.